Revelation 7 is a further description of Revelation 6, 9-11, where the fifth seal was opened and those slain for the word of Jehovah were given white robes. Context is everything. If you have followed our videos beginning with Revelation 1, you will have a better basis of understanding all of the book of Revelation and King Messiah Yeshua's prophecy concerning his return to be the ruler of planet Earth by 2030. These events will change the lives of every human on earth. This includes you and everyone you know. Revelation 7 After these things I saw four messengers standing at the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the seas, nor on any tree. Revelation 7 2 and I saw another messenger coming up from the rising of the sun, holding the seal of the living Elohim. And he cried with a loud voice to the four messengers, to whom it was given to harm the earth and the sea, saying, Do not harm the earth, nor the sea, nor the trees, until we seal the servants of our Elohim on their foreheads. Revelation 7, 4 And I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000, sealed out of all the tribes of the children of Israel. There were originally twelve tribes of Israel. The members of these tribes were scattered all over the world and absorbed into the nations. For example, Brit is a Hebrew word and the root of the name Britain. Isaiah 10.22 For though your people, O Israel, will be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return, a decisive end, overflowing with righteousness. Isaiah makes it clear that 2.5 to 3.5 billion of Earth's present-day population originate from the mixed multitude of Israelites that came out of Egypt. A large portion of the Earth's population are part of Israel and don't know it. Please subscribe and hit the like button. To donate, see the end of this video and the subtitle at the first. Thank you for your support. Revelation 7, 5 Out of the tribe of Yehuda, 12,000 were sealed. Out of the tribe of Reuben, 12,000 were sealed. Out of the tribe of Gab, 12,000 were sealed. Out of the tribe of Asher, 12,000 were sealed. Out of the tribe of Naphtali, 12,000 were sealed. Out of the tribe of Manasheh, 12,000 were sealed. Out of the tribe of Shimon, 12,000 were sealed. Out of the tribe of Levi, 12,000 were sealed. Out of the tribe of Yisachar, 12,000 were sealed. Out of the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000 were sealed. Out of the tribe of Yosef, 12,000 were sealed. Out of the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000 were sealed. The tribe of Dan is missing from this list, but Dan is mentioned in the Millennial Land Allotment in Ezekiel 48, 1 and 2. Information in the Old Testament expands our knowledge of the book of Revelation and fills in important clues. Ezekiel 9.4 And Jehovah said to him, Pass on to the midst of the city, into the midst of Jerusalem, and you shall put a mark on the foreheads of the men who sigh and cry over the abominations that are done within it. Revelation 7.9 And after this I looked and saw a great crowd which no one was able to count, out of all the nations and the tribes and peoples and tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, dressed in white robes and palm branches in their hands. Revelation 7.10 And crying out with a loud voice, saying, Deliverance belongs to our Elohim who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb. And all the messengers and the elders and the four living creatures stood around the throne and fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped Jehovah. Revelation 7.12, saying, Amen. The Barakah and the esteem and the wisdom and the thanksgiving and the respect and the power and the might of our Elohim forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying to me, Who are these dressed in white robes and where did they come from? Revelation 7.14, And I said to him, Master, you know. And he said to me, these are those coming out of the great distress, having washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Revelation 7.15 Because of this they are before the throne of Elohim, and serve him day and night in his tabernacle. 
and he who sits on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more, neither shall they thirst, nor shall the sun strike them, nor any kind of heat. Revelation 7.17 Because the Lamb in the midst of the throne will shepherd them and lead them to fountains of water of high, everlasting life, and Elohim will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Yohanan, John 6.35 And Yeshua said to them, I am the bread of high, everlasting life. He who come to me shall not get hungry at all, and he who believes in me shall not get thirsty at all. Remember, belief is an action word in Hebrew. To believe in Yeshua is to do as he did, to follow him, to walk in his footsteps. That is how we gain entrance to the kingdom. As a new being, that is the combined divine male and divine female, food or drink will not be required. Also, the new beings will be able to survive anywhere in the universe, just as Yeshua can move from the throne room to earth and back. As some of the world's leading Bible scholars, our goal is to reveal a truthful understanding and translation of the Bible, which is free of man-made religion. Join us for our next video on the book of Revelation, which is Yeshua's prophecy for the times we live in. And please hit the like button and subscribe. To donate or contact us by email, donate at BibleProphecyTruth.net. Send checks to Bible Prophecy Truth, 595 Muskoka Beach Road, Gravenhurst, Ontario, Canada, P1P1B1. Thank you for your support, and may Jehovah bless you and hold you close. Amen.